Whereas if you say to them, oh, hey, look at these amazing dishes you can eat that taste lovely, but are also healthy, or put it in your mouth, yum, yum, in your tum, tum, that is going to be far more beneficial than look at this crazy extreme thing I have to do. Simon the Board a here. Thank you for joining me. As always, maybe YouTube will restrict this content. We just don't know. You would not believe the 24 hours. Somebody is clearly out to get me. Somebody in the comments made a very interesting point about a very notable and controversial YouTuber who I made a video about recently, and I'm starting to believe that maybe it will be true. But hey-ho, we fight the good fight. But today, I want to talk about things that have to stop. And it comes from this article, which is man deliberately piles on 45 kilograms to prove it's easy to lose weight. And if you can believe it, this is from a personal trainer, so somebody who is drowning in the world of sports and fitness and health and entertainment. Don't know what that is, but I've said it now. We'll continue on with it. Health entertainment. That is something I'm definitely going to advertise my channel as. Simon Miller deals in health entertainment. But here is the thing. We're going to read the article. I'm going to let you know while it's an incredible thing to do, and he should be absolutely over the moon that he was able to do it. It does not help anybody who is actually trying to lose weight. Because yes, a personal trainer has divided opinion after claiming to have personally gained more than 45 kilograms to prove that it's easy to lose weight. And it talks about COVID for a while, because why not? But Dmitry Azovsky, probably butchered that, I apologize, who works as a PT, set out to intentionally put on an excessive amount of weight as an experiment. I mean, I would have just done something in a test tube, but whatever. His motive was to show how people can shred the fat when they train right, and then he put this video up to show you what he's done. <laughs> Azovsky began his experiment in 2021 after spending the entire year only eating junk food. After putting on around 45 kilos, he made he weighed more than 160 kilos. I don't even know how much that is. Hey, Google, how much is 160 kilograms in stone? That is 25 stone. My word, you can't have heard that. For some reason, Google decided to be <laughs> the quietest person ever. The TikToker decided to document his weight loss journey to inspire others. He hoped his methods would be the perfect proof that a disciplined routine will help you achieve your goal weight. Now, I want to point out that's 100% true. Discipline, determination, motivation, inspiration, whatever the hell it would be. Consistency. These are the way that we lose weight as well as making sure that we're eating in a calorie deficit but we'll go on with this as we do indeed go. He began his mission in the midst of COVID, blah, blah, blah. Gyms went open. First few months were the hardest because I was overweight. Have a buy April this year. He said he had lost more than 50 kilograms from training well and eating within a calorie deficit. I continue to get into the best shape. Everything is possible in life. The main thing is to set a goal. Something I also uh, you know, think that is correct. If you, smet, if you set small achievable goals and you keep achieving them sort of every four or five weeks, four or five weeks, it makes you feel great. And it makes you feel like you want to pat yourself on your back. Whereas if you go in one year, I'm going to be this, you're never going to make it because a year, 365 days is a long ass time and you're going to have bad days and you feel like you won't have achieved anything because you set the bar too high. In one of videos on his account, he showed that he was only, here we go, consuming 1,000 calories a day while also training. While he was able to lose the weight and then some people, uh, sorry, while he was able to lose the weight and then some, some people have called him out for setting unhealthy expectations. Uh, 1,000 calories is disgustingly low. And then somebody else said, never eat only 1,000. That's absurdly no for no reason. And this is the point, right? It's, I get it. It even says here, his quote is, you can lose weight in any conditions. But this is not a, if you were going to do a litmus test, you would not use this as any kind of results. Because few people out there are going, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get really, really fat over the next 365 days. And then I'm going to try and lose it all over the next 365 days. At no point, Unless you are going in for some kind of crazy competition and you have a team around you and you have a nutritionist and another personal trainer and a medical uh, group who are ensuring that you are okay, you should never be dropping to 1,000 calories. That You just don't need to do it in your day-to-day -day life. Again, I know I say this all the time, but it's a catchphrase. It's important, like health entertainment. Health and fitness, the most important word is health. If you do not have your health... What's the point of doing it anyway? And I swear, no matter who you are, unless you're the smallest person on the planet, you're like three foot nine. If you're only eating 1,000 calories a day, you're going to feel like absolute crap. Your endocrine system's going to be shot. Your whole body's going to go into cortisol stress mode because it doesn't know what's going on. And you're not going to be a happy panda. So what's the point? Isn't a better message to put out there? Sure, you can have bad food every now and then. But overall, you need to stick to your healthy diet. Otherwise, yes, you are going to put on weight. We do not need to go to these extremes. And my worry is, if you are somebody out there who is struggling to lose weight, you're just going to see this and it's going to sound absolutely horrific and absolutely terrifying and intimidating. You think, I have to go down to 1,000 calories a day? Because that's how people read these articles. Don't pretend otherwise. They don't go through it with a fine-tooth comb. You're not going to really need one. 
one, like I'm doing now, they just see man put on loads of weight, man lost their own weight by eating 1,000 calories a day. 1,000 calories is nothing. Like when I'm on a super bulk, not that I think you need a super bulk, but back in the day, I'd be having like 800 calories for breakfast. I'm sure some of you have 800 calories breakfast for now. That would leave me 200 calories <laughs> for the rest of the day. And there is no way I could do that. I would send myself loopy. So I don't think, I understand what he's doing. And I massively respect that he put himself through this and that he's okay and it worked for him. But I do not agree with the message it puts out there. I think it is going to make people who were trying to achieve this feel like it's even more impossible. Whereas if you say to them, oh, hey, look at these amazing dishes you can eat that taste lovely, but are also healthy, or put it in your mouth, yum, yum, in your tum, tum. That is going to be far more beneficial than look at this crazy extreme thing I have to do. No, I get it. It's TikTok, right? What does well on TikTok? People dry scooping because once again, it's going to the 1000th degree rather than just living a normal life. But these stories get out there and people see personal trainers and they think it's some kind of official thing to do and they freak out as you would be uh, another viewer commented retraining isn't the same as someone stuck with zero experience not to mention the health issues that can add to it that's also true if you are that overweight i'm going to assume that your background in lifting weights or cardio or whatever fitness is going to be limited of course it is because you don't probably don't understand calories and you probably don't understand fat intake and carb intake and protein intake which is it's not fine you should do but if you don't you don't it doesn't make you a bad person so as soon as this comes into play, once again, it's just going to send you down a loop. You don't want to send you. You don't want to go down the loop. It's, it's, I say it all the time. Give a man or a woman or a human being or whatever a fishing rod, whatever that stupid phrase is. I've forgotten it. Give them a fish. They eat for a day. Give them a fishing rod and teach them, and they'll fish and eat forever. It's the same with this. Don't just throw crazy transformation things at them just because you want to get views and clicks. I mean, you can do that, but also make sure that you balance it out with oh, but really you should be doing this and you should be doing that and calorie deficit and cardio. Uh, somebody else said, laugh my ass off. There are many factors that come into play when trying to lose weight. This is cruel saying that anyone can do it easily. And that's the thing. I mean, it is easy in terms of the science behind it. Just don't eat as much. That's what it really is. Let's be honest with you and make sure you're doing cardio for your heart. But it's not easy. If you have a day when you wake up and you feel like absolute gubbins, you want to eat pizza. You want to eat ice cream. I'll admit it. I broke my hand recently. We talked about it here on the channel. And I had a couple of days when uh, binge ate is too much. I wasn't binge eating, but I just went, meh, I don't care about my diet, which makes no sense. Because when you can't train properly, I'm still doing legs. You think you'd be more consistent with your diet because, okay, I can't train properly, so let's make it here. I did it for 48 hours. Then I got back on the train, which is fine. You're allowed to be an idiot <laughs> for, for a couple of days. But it's not easy if you are starting from square one. Of course it's not, especially because if you do weigh sort of 20 plus stone, you don't see any changes for ages. Even when you see the scales going down, which is good, it takes so long to actually visually notice that you have lost weight. And it's always the visual stuff, not the number stuff that gets people all pumped. Like, oh my gosh, I want to keep it on. Uh, despite some doubts over his methods, uh, Zofsky achieved what he had said that to do with others inspired by his transformation. I'm not saying it's not inspiring. I just don't think it's a good idea. Amazing transformation. I've been working so hard since July and I've only lost two stones. Still another two to go. This gives me hope. Okay, so there's always the exception to the rule. Another added, I think he just wants to show people it can be done. Your personal journey will be a bit different, but at a basic level, it can be done. A bit of hope. Yeah. Yes, but I think you need to get that message out there too. And you need to make sure you get that message out there in the same video. You can't put it in a different video. You can't put it in a video beforehand because again, we live in a very move on one and done kind of a culture and it's true. So this is never going to stop. I think we've already done a couple of videos of other people that have done a similar thing. Just don't balloon up and don't balloon down. I mean, go and look at any actor that's done it or more, more specifically in a better example, fighters that do it. So many fighters eventually just move up a weight class because like this is not good for me and they don't get massively fat, but they have to trim so much weight and probably not only eat a restricted amount of calories, but do a bunch of cardio. Some people have died from it. Thankfully, not thankfully, it's bad. I'm talking about thankfully. I mean, what I meant to say is it hasn't happened on a grand scale. That's a dumb thing of me to say. It doesn't matter grand scale. I'm talking about UFC and uh, it must have happened in boxing. I can't remember. But it does happen on smaller shows. It doesn't make it any better. We shouldn't be putting people in situations where they feel the need to curb so much weight that their body stops working, which is essentially what is happening. You need calories. This is the other problem. I don't think people understand a calorie is just a unit of energy that's all it is so when the random information is women need 2,000 calories and men need 2,500 calories to operate they're just going well if you're a somewhat active human being and you take in 2,500 calories that will be enough to fuel you through the day that's all it is a calorie isn't some magical thing that gets in your system and go oh I'm a fat calorie or I'm this you know of course you can when it gets to macronutrients you can eat too high in one of those uh, individual categories but it's such a shame we didn't call it energies. <laughs> I think if we had said you need 2,000 energies or we had a point-based system, I think far more people would be into it. So I would like this to stop. Will it? No, because TikTok exists and TikTok is smashing everything. 
But I don't think it helps. And if you have seen this kind of stuff, and right now you are an overweight person, you're trying to lose weight, stick to the basics. Calorie deficit. Make sure you're doing your cardio, even if it's just a 10-minute walk a day. Start on Monday, 10-minute walk a day. Get to the next Monday, do 50 minutes. Get to the next Monday, do 20 minutes. Eventually, maybe you feel confident enough to go to the gym, get on a treadmill, get on a cross trainer, get on a climber. Just flip and roll around on the floor. Whatever works for you is fine, but you do need not need to put yourself in these crazy situations where you need the dedication of a hawk. I don't know if hawks have dedication, but I'm assuming they do, flying around all the time. You are allowed to be quite casual with it and still achieve your results. It just takes a long time. Remember that longevity, consistency, all these boring words, that is the key. So accept that. And hopefully your weight loss journey will be a lot easier than some crazy nonsense on social media. Now, please do like the video, share the video, and subscribe. Hit the bell, ding, ding. So you know when other videos are going live, there will be a video on the screen. Why not give it a click? See what happens. Uh, leave a comment too. You can write whatever you want. YouTube loves it for the algorithm. And my word, do I need algorithm power at the moment. Gridmind.com forward slash Simon. You go to Simon to get 10% off or use the code Simon right now. And can't say the product because YouTube gets mad. Something else. It rhymes with Burke Esterone. If you wanted to try some of that and use the code Simon, you can get a lot of money off it, or at least more money than you would do otherwise. It's like a, you get the 10%, then you get something else. So if you want it, make sure you check that out. I think the sale ends on Friday. So today is the 21st. So tomorrow, the 22nd, you've got 24 hours or like 32 hours or something like that. You get the point. In Great Sets Power 13 cookbook. Again, all the description is in below as well as a discount code if you are looking for a way to have a nicer diet. At Simon316 on Instagram and Twitter. Also, patreon.com for the Simon316. Simon.bigcartel.com for merch. Thank you to everyone who has asked for a cameo recently. I enjoy doing cameos. They're fun. You can have a birthday message. You can have a Christmas message, an Easter message. You can just have a shout out. Whatever you like is all good with me. But otherwise, thank you for your time. That's the most important thing. And I'll see you soon.